Michael runs a weekly lottery. The cost of running each lottery is 80 euros, including the prizes. He gets roughly 400 euros from selling tickets for each lottery. His profit is 400 euros less 80 euros that he has in expenses. So 400 take away 80 euros is 320 euros. And that's his profit. Work out the least number of lotteries that Michael must run in order to make over a thousand euros in profit and show you're working out in this. For the first lottery, he gets 320. And if he ran a second one, he get another 320 on top of this. So the total there would be 640. If he ran another one, he get another 320 for his third one. And the total here now would be 960. Now he's still not up to a thousand, so he needs one more. So he runs a fourth one to get another 320. And that will bring his total to 1,280. So that's, it takes four lotteries. Siobhan and Ava win a lot of jackpot. They divide it so that Siobhan gets 25,000 and Ava gets 45,000. Write the ratio of 25,000 to 45,000 in its simplest form. Now one approach to doing this would be to write this into a calculator. If you wrote down 25,000 divided by 45,000, it would give you the fraction ratio here. We could divide both sides straight away by 1,000. That would reduce this down to 25 is to 45. You might notice that 5 goes into both parts here. 5 goes into 25 five times and five goes into 45 nine times so the answer is five is to nine part c the jackpots for an american and irish lotto were as follows the irish jackpot was 4.8 million and the american jack jackpot 5.3 million the exchange rate at the time was one euros is to one dollar fifteen cent show that the Irish jackpot was worth more than the American one. So we'll set up a ratio table, converting euros on the left hand side into dollars on the right hand side. So what we know is one euro is worth 1.15 dollars. So we'd like to know what 4.8 million euros is. Now the ratio of conversion is that get to the other side of the table, we multiply by 1.15. So if we multiply 4.8 million by 1.15, we get 5.52 million. And if we compare these, if we compare the 5.52 million dollars with the 5.3 million dollars, we see that the 5.52 is bigger than 5.53. So this proves that the the Irish lottery, lottery is bigger. But we could also uh, convert the American dollars into euros either, but it's enough to do it in, in one direction. Give an example of an exchange rate that would make the American jackpot worth more than the Irish one. Well, what we would like for the American jackpot to be worth more, we'd like that a euro would be worth a lot less than the American dollar. So for instance, if a euro was only worth maybe 50 cent of an American dollar. What we would then see in this exchange rate is the 4.8 million euros in Irish money. That would be equivalent to 4.8 multiplied by 0.5 or half 4.8. So in dollars, that would be worth 2.4 million dollars.